I had lunch with a bunch of wonderful ladies recently. We talked about the business, we talked about some of the things I do and don't do, and for some reason they assumed I was adding value to their lives, and I'm thankful to them for that, and at least pretending while I was there having that conversation with them. But one thing came up, and that is what I call my five Ps, and hopefully you're familiar with that presentation. Um, probably needs to be redone. Maybe I'll redo that at some stage. But basically it's a framework, and this is the point of this conversation. I would suggest to you that you have a standardized, preset, well thought through, well practiced initially, and then the more you use it, the better you get at it, framework for your presentation, for your conversations, for your one-on-ones, two-on-ones, one-on-many conversations. I'll give you an example. Mine is the five Ps. I can give that presentation now in my sleep. I can actually give it from one extreme to the other so it looks nothing like itself the next time I give it to a very different audience. The five Ps simply put are this. What's the purpose? Well, ours is to make life better, health, freedom, hope. I love to start with that. Well, what's the next P? It's products. Do the products fulfill the purpose? Do they do what they say they're going to do? The next P is plan, business plan, strategic plan, compensation plan. Begin to talk business about it. Fourth P is people. I much underestimated the huge value and wonderful blessing it is to be aligned with good people. And then the final is a point in time. Usually called timing, but four P's and a T isn't quite as cute as five P's, so it's a point in time. That's my framework. And you'll notice, those of you who have been to any meeting I've done, or a number of them, as I largely follow that process. In that sequence, that's where I'm comfortable. Based on the vibe I'm getting, either from chatting around the room beforehand, or visiting with the host of the meeting, get a vibe for the people before I even get to the room, or based on the body language in the room, or the questions or voice intonation over the phone, I can tell where the people's interests are. And so, if it's a product conversation, which they're more interested in, that was the premise they were bought here on, then guess what? Of a 45-minute presentation, 35, 40 minutes of it are on product. And a minute or two up front in terms of purpose, and a few minutes at the back end in terms of plan and people and point in time. If it's more of a business conversation, then maybe I balance it more in terms of product and plan and point in time. I can pick up and leave off anywhere in that conversation because I've given it thousands of times. The framework's in my mind. I don't need a PowerPoint to bore the people to death or to remind myself or to read the PowerPoint to the people. I always laugh at that. I mean, if I do that, I might as well just email them the PowerPoint and not bother jumping on the plane to go see them. Very locked and loaded for me. A few folks I've done a number of meetings for smile and nod and say, well, it was the same presentation as last time. I say, yeah, it was, but it was different. Yeah, it was. But I've got the framework. And what that does for me is it gives me confidence in my competence. Like I said, I can start anywhere, I can drill down, I can spend forever on one subject and then skim over the others. I know where I'm at in that conversation. And what that does for me is builds my confidence and changes the impression I'm giving to the audience. I'm completely natural, relaxed, confident in my competence. I know what I'm doing refer them to the tools where I need to so that they can answer that question of can I do this for myself and then away we go. So my suggestion is borrow the five P's if you want, 10 Q's, whatever you want to do, doesn't matter to me, but have a framework for your standardized conversation that is completely adaptable, completely malleable or fungible so that you can be confident in delivering the message that you want to deliver. You're not reinventing the wheel every time. The good thing is the more you do it, and do it often, the better you'll get at it, and the more confident you'll get at it, to the point of almost being able to do it in your sleep, though I don't recommend that because it's not a good look at the front of the room snoozing. So there you go. Give thoughts to that framework of presentation that will work for you. For me, five Ps. Covers all the bases. I know where I'm at. There's a nice, elegant sequence to them, and it's usually quite a surprise to folks because they're not used to that holistic, strategic-level conversation that I'm able to deliver for them. There usually is some nodding heads, some unfolded arms, some leaning forward in the chairs, and I know the part of the presentation I'm at is what's resonating with them at that point, and I drill down just a little bit deeper. Give thought to a framework, design it for yourself, practice it, practice it, practice it with your dog or your budgie or your kids, and then go to work with that one. Have a great day.